Alrighty, just a quick follow-up video on the Truma hot water system and the problems that we had with it and how I solved it in the last video by removing this plastic cover just here. We took it in for the warranty work and they've had a look at it and they've discovered what the problem was. You see, this section here is a flue just like you'd have on a fireplace in your house and it requires draw just like a normal flue on a firewood for it to actually work and what had happened was the inside of the Truma system was slanted back slightly away from this um, exhaust panel here and what it was doing was allowing air to leak into the um, the intake rather than being drawn out the exhaust. So it wasn't leaking inside the caravan apparently, although I do have a carbon monoxide sensor in there anyway, so that never read anything above zero, so that's probably not a drama. But what was happening was it was stalling out when it was cold because it was basically breathing its own fumes. Once it got hot, because it always worked when it got hot, if you could manage to get it hot, like restarting it 10, 20 times or whatever, it would eventually work. And so the reason for that is exactly the same as a fire as well. Once you got enough heat in there, it would naturally draw through its own heat and the exhaust would work and it would vent properly. And that's why taking this cover off stopped this restriction here and it didn't, it no longer needed to draw, it could just expel those gases straight out. So I'm glad to say we're away camping at the moment and it's been working absolutely perfectly. So what they did to fix it was they just spaced up the, the trim system inside um, on the, the side opposite the wall and just pushed it in and then sealed it with heat proof silicon around here, which apparently they're supposed to have done anyway. Now what's really interesting about this is I've had some other people comment um privately that they've had similar issues with different brands of campers as well um in mainly in these hybrids that they had the exact same problem and the same solution so it's not a flaw with trimmer itself and the design of this cover it's actually a flaw with the installation and i've got a theory as to why it might be these particular types of campers and that is that they have a aluminium checker plate floor and like in any uh, garden trailer that you would have you know that those floors aren't necessarily 100 percent level not like a wood framed caravan where the floor would hopefully be bang on straight these probably have a slight angle as they come away from the wall here and the installers probably aren't taking that into account and it's leaving just the smallest gap and uh, and causing these flame out issues so by spacing up and sealing that section the hot water system should never move now it's it's locked into place and it's hard up and it's all sealed up and seems to be working perfectly so there you go if you're having problems with flame outs you can obviously take that off as a quick workaround but you can also hopefully see if there's any gap around the top section of your truma and maybe um, seal it up and or space it up as well and that should hopefully solve the problem forever so that's the that's the the proper solution and uh, I hope that helps a whole bunch of you people out because I tell you what, it's super, super frustrating when it just keeps flaming out constantly. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. It really does help us out and uh, we really do appreciate it. Thanks very much, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.